My name is Abu. I am a high school student, 17 years old. People learn in different ways. For me, if I see something really cool, I try to take it apart and figure out how it works. It's a bit more extreme now because instead of it being hardware, I like to know how algorithms work. My freshman year, I remember Googling machine learning. I had no clue what it meant. That's the really cool thing about the internet is that someone's already doing it, so you can just YouTube it and it's right there. The minute I really saw what machine learning can do, it kind of like hit something within me, this like need to build things to help people. My parents are immigrants from Afghanistan. It's not easy coming in. The only reason we made it through some of the times that we did was because people showed acts of kindness. Seeing that at an early age was enough for me to understand that helping people always comes back to you. Machine learning is this concept that we can train computers to identify patterns in data and then use those patterns to predict off of new data. I have a quick demo. It's just some code that I wrote uh, last night. Miss Roscoe is the first teacher that I actually talked to about machine learning. Abu and I first met his sophomore year. I was his programming one teacher. My students do a computer science fair and they are challenged to find a problem, but they have to use a form of technology to solve that problem. And then it kind of hit me in a way where I could actually genuinely help people. Mammograms are the cheapest imaging format there is. It's the most accessible to people all around the world. But one of the biggest problems that we see in breast cancer is misdiagnosis. So I decided that that was going to be my project, build a system for early detection of breast cancer tumors that's accessible to everyone and that's more accurate. How was I going to do it? Machine learning. It's not an easy thing to do. Data is not publicly available. And if it is, it's low quality data. It's difficult. I wasn't even sure if I could do it. And I remember just thinking about like, everyone else is building a calendar, like maybe I should do that. But I was like, no, you gotta do this. You need to. He was talking to me about all the cool stuff he was doing and I was telling him not to overdo it. You should just be a kid and worry about kid stuff. The biggest, most extensive resource that I've used is this platform called TensorFlow. I've spent so many hours going really deep into these open source libraries and just figuring out how it works. Eventually, I wrote a whole system that can help radiologists make their decisions. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm by no means a wizard at machine learning. I'm completely self-taught. I'm in high school. I YouTubed and just found my way through it. You don't know about that kid in Brazil that might have a groundbreaking idea or that kid in Somalia. You don't know that they have these ideas, but if you can open source your tools, you can give them a little bit of hope that they can actually conquer what they're thinking of.